One of the biggest stars of recent history, Enrique Iglesias is the man who brought the sexy and exciting sound of Latin pop to audiences all over the world. He built his musical career from the ground, intentionally distancing himself from the shadow of his superstar father, Julio Iglesias. Enrique Iglesias is kind of a Latin American superstar that one of the few artists that went from kind of a Latin American sound to a global sound. Like, he's just huge. He's one of the biggest stars from the last 30 years. This is not just a Latino artist. This is not just a crossover US artist. He is famous everywhere. Enrique always seemed to have an affinity for music. Obviously, it was in his blood. What began as a gamble, when Enrique dropped out of university to pursue a music career, quickly paid off. He has achieved hit after hit in both Spanish and English-speaking markets, and is without question one of the top-selling artists of our time. Enrique has definitely proved that he has a range and that he can uh, combat all sorts of different genres. Now he's a little bit more into like the dance, techno, pop genre, whereas before we would see him doing a lot of ballads. He has sold more than 100 million records worldwide, amassed more than 70 number one rankings, voted as the sexiest singer alive, and has been labeled as the king of Latin pop. He looks amazing, he dresses amazing. He's kind of, I think he's kind of what everyone imagines their holiday relationship would be like. You know, when you go on the girls' holiday to Marbella, he's the guy that you hope you find by the pool and go, okay, this is the guy. That's what, that's what people imagine with Enrique, I think. And it's like, he was packaged up and released songs about love and he looks like that. Come on, it's never not gonna work, and it did. This is the story of Enrique Iglesias. This is the story of Latin love.